Join me as I dive into the world of earwax and find out if my hearing is at risk, can I handle the truth? Earwax is one of those things we don't often think about, but it's actually a crucial part of our hearing health. It's meant to protect our ears from dirt, dust, and other small particles that could cause damage. But what happens when earwax becomes a problem rather than a solution? Excessive earwax buildup can lead to some serious issues. For one, it can cause hearing loss, and I'm not just talking about a slight reduction in hearing, I'm talking about significant impairment. Imagine not being able to hear your loved ones, or struggling to follow conversations. It's a scary thought. Earwax buildup can also cause discomfort, like itchiness, irritation, and even pain. And in some cases, it can lead to infections, which can be serious if left untreated. But here's the thing, excessive earwax buildup is more common than you might think. According to some studies, nearly 10% of children and 30% of older adults have excessive earwax buildup. That's a lot of people potentially at risk for hearing loss and other problems. And it's not just the physical discomfort that's the issue, it's also the emotional toll of not being able to hear or communicate properly. So what exactly happens when earwax builds up in our ears? Well, it's not just a matter of poor hygiene or not cleaning our ears enough. In fact, using cotton swabs to remove earwax can actually push it further into our ears, making the problem worse. Earwax buildup can be caused by a variety of factors, including genetics, age, and even certain medical conditions. So, how does earwax actually work? Well, our bodies produce earwax naturally to protect our ears from dirt and debris. It's meant to trap these particles and prevent them from entering our ear canals. But sometimes, our bodies can produce too much earwax, or it can become impacted and accumulate in our ears. That's when it becomes a problem. Interestingly, our ears are self-cleaning, and earwax is supposed to naturally migrate out of our ears. But sometimes, it can get stuck in the ear canal and cause buildup. It's a delicate balance, and sometimes our bodies just need a little help to get it right. According to some experts, improper ear wax removal is a big no-no. In fact, using cotton swabs or other objects to remove ear wax can cause serious damage to our ears, including perforating our eardrums or pushing ear wax further into our ears. Yikes! So, what's the solution? Well, sometimes we just need to leave our ears alone and let them do their thing. But in other cases, we may need to seek professional help from an audiologist or other hearing specialist. In conclusion, managing ear wax is crucial for maintaining good hearing health. By being aware of the risks of excessive ear wax buildup and taking steps to prevent it, we can reduce our risk of hearing loss and other problems. Remember, taking care of your ears is taking care of your overall health. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have you ever had issues with earwax buildup or hearing loss? Share your experiences in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about hearing health tips, be sure to check out our next video on the top things you can do to protect your hearing.